Keep left at the fork. I don't know what does it mean for us tourists coming, driving over and making a crowd and jam for the locals that have to go to work or off work. But you have to do it when you're in San Fran and I'm doing it here so you don't have to. What do I feel right now? Really nothing. And I'm not walking over it. I think it would be ridiculous. Going to Sausalito, that's the little city on the other side of the bridge. And uh, famous for a couple of reasons, I'll tell you later. I'm looking uh, left and right, uh, scanning all these people, looking for the old guy with the uh, black cowboy hat. There was a uh, on CBS News segment, and they show here in Marina interview with Rambling Jack Elliott, who's one of my favorites of all times. He lives in Sausalito. So maybe he's out for Sunday stroll. Old guy, white hair, big black cowboy hat, and maybe glasses. If you see one, let me know. Little colorful hills of uh, Sorcelito, Sorcelito Bay, and behind you can see San Francisco and Alcatraz. If you try really deep, you can see it. I was thinking get a tour of Alcatraz, but no, I think it would be a waste of time. I tried driving around looking for parking spot and for rambling Jack Elliott. Found the parking, didn't found Jack. He must be taking afternoon nap. He's an old man. I saw Jack Elliott uh, in 2007 in Hibbing, Minnesota, which is uh, like 30 miles from Duluth on Lake Superior. That's the hometown of Robert Zimmerman that you know better as Bob Dylan. Bob was about 18 years old when he went to see Woody Guthrie and found him in uh, New York in a hospital. Woody was very sick and dying. Bob, knowing a legend of Woody Guthrie in folk music, couldn't actually learn much from him, but then he met Rambling Jack Elliott. Rambling Jack Elliott, some people say he's a son of Woody Guthrie and father of Bob Dylan, because he transferred all he learned from Woody Guthrie, he transferred to Bob. Bob has a habit to uh, relate himself to some person and for a year or two they're together and best buddies and then he dumps them. He did that with uh, Rambling Jack and Rambling Jack Elliot was always wondering and people ask him what happened between you two? Nothing he said, nothing, absolutely nothing. That's how the Bob is. After that he went to uh, hang out with Johnny Cash, then to hang out with uh, Van Morrison in Greece. That's how Bob is. Bob learned the style of Woody Guthrie through Rambling Jack Elliott. Rambling Jack Elliott was not copycat, he had his own style. He started with cowboy music. He ran away from home when he was 15 and uh, joined the rodeo. He wanted to be a rodeo clown. That was his thing, to be a rodeo clown. And uh, that's how he learned from rodeo guys. He learned cowboy songs and that's how he started singing. He's a son of a rich guy, dentist in Brooklyn. But he wanted rodeo, pick up the guitar, and never stop traveling. He later had a daughter that he really didn't, uh, she didn't grow up with uh, next to him because he couldn't stop traveling. And uh, she later made the documentary, you can find it, uh, something story about Bob, Rambling Jack or something like that. She made it like her reconciliation with her father. In that movie, you can see some original footage documentary from uh, 50s and maybe 60s. In 50s, Rambling Jack Elliott met Daryl Adams. Daryl Adams is a great, great voice and a banjo player. His nickname, Banjo Man. And uh, they went together to France. Rambling Jack Elliott was then married, had a wife. That was 1955, about 
then they went to England, recorded a couple albums there, and they brought American folk music over there. Many people heard that, and then uh, that exploded. That led later uh, for uh, blues musicians to come to England, and in fact, the uh, young bl uh, guitar players in uh, England, like Eric Clapton. Rambling Jack uh, left deep roots in England. There's a story when Bob Dylan went on tour to England, and then they're bragging about how we have a young guy, he's like better than you, he's copying you actually and stuff like that. He, he has your style. Well, who is it? They said Donovan. And they played some uh, Donovan songs to Bob Dylan. He said, that's not my style, that's not me. That's flat picking, that's rambling Jack Elliott. So he knew the style and that's what rambling Jack left to them. How Bob Dylan was able to to recognize the sound of Jack Elliot, the style, just by listening to Donovan, any song, whatever they play to him. I wish I could find the old guy somewhere here on the beach, but who knows where he is? He may be still traveling. He has gypsy soul like I do. So I'm hit, hitting the road. I'll keep going north on Highway 1 along the coast. See you somewhere by the sea.